Good evening, gentlemen. This is a World War III Team Yankee painting session. Today I'm painting some infantry for my East German army. I'll paint a Mottschutzen company, their heavy weapons, and a platoon that can be transported by my hind helicopters. I'll be testing my painting skills this time around by trying out a suggested camo pattern in the Volks Army book. It requires a fine tip brush and a steady hand to make a bunch of tiny lines across the uniform. I start by organizing the contents of each box, making sure all parts of the teams are accounted for and each has a base to stand on. Using a knife, I try to remove as many metal artifacts on the models as I can in preparation for base coating. I adhere every soldier to a strip of duct tape before I hit them with a coat of Citadel's Chaos Black followed up with a coat of Leo's Bone White. As usual, I paint the soldier's face and hands with Battlefront's European skin. I paint the packs and equipment with Comrade Khaki, and the guns are a 50-50 mixture of Rocket Steel and Abaddon Black. The boots get painted black as well before I douse the figure in Nuln Oil. With the shader dried, I go back and reapply every color on the soldier, also painting on Battlefield Brown onto the gun stocks. Now it's time to paint those tiny lines I was talking about earlier. This step required a lot of patience on my part. If I worked too fast, my brush strokes could leave large globs of paint on the uniform instead of the tiny straight lines that I was looking for. This slow and monotonous process would be so frustrating that I would only paint about 10 soldiers at a time before I would have to take a break from both my strained nerves and cramping fingers. And there we go, I'm finally done with the camo pattern. It's not as clean and precise as the one painted in the book, but it's always nice to push yourself to grow artistically. Last thing to do is paint the bottom of the figure brown before gluing them down to the base. After covering the base in glue and being careful not to get any on the soldier, I submerge them in a container of fine basing grit. These are looking really good. We're almost done. The last paint I apply is a heavily watered down brown, which will seep into the cracks and act as a glue holding the grit in place once it has dried. I mix arid and green static grass together to get the desired color I'm looking for. To me, it gives a more wild grass look as opposed to a well watered lawn. With applying a conservative amount of glue onto the grit surface in a few select areas, I gently add on my grass mixture. Looking really good, just one step to go. As with the grass, I dab on a tiny amount of glue onto the base before adding the shrubs with a pair of tweezers. And they're finally done! These are probably the best looking infantry that I've painted so far, next to my besiege. The camo job wasn't perfect, but I'm glad that I tried it out. There we have it, a full East German Mottschutzen company that can be transported in their BTR-60s and an infantry platoon that can be dropped onto the battlefield via hind helicopters. The long hours spent on this project were totally worth it. Can't wait to show these off in a future battle report. Thank you for watching, and until next time, Godspeed.